What's going on everyone? It's DV and today we're going to cover the top 15 essential items that every Islands player needs and in what order you should get them in. That way you know exactly what is the most important to get first and then some of the things that can come later. For example, you don't really need a tier three workbench for a while. So we're going to cover all of that in this video. Not only am I going to tell you like what it takes to make say like a gilded steel hammer, but I'm going to tell you exactly how much if you were to make one of each of the things that I'm going to cover in this video. So total woods, total iron, total steel ingots, all that kind of stuff. I'm going to give you the totals. That way you can just grind for it or trade for it whatever you want to do if you don't want to have to grind for it you can go buy it assuming you have the coins if you don't have the coins then you know you're probably going to really want to go through this guide because you're going to need to know exactly what you need we're going to obviously cover things in the order that you need them and the goal of this is to get you to a point where you can be self-reliant versus having to trade for everything right because you're always having to trade for things i'm going to show you what it takes to make a steel mill things like that and how important it is and in fact in an upcoming noob to pro video i'm going to be making everything on this list without ever trading with anyone just to show you in that video that it can be done no matter who you are again anyone could do it before we begin if you can like and subscribe if this video can get to 3,000 likes by tomorrow i will give away two ten dollar roblox gift cards in my next video so this list assumes you actually have some basics but again we're going to cover the top 15 things you're going to need beyond these little basics here so let's go over here first up we need to talk about trees the only trees you need in the game are going to be your maple trees and a sapling so you only need two of these it's going to help you a lot if you have more of these but you only need this this one and this one you only need one of each at least for what we're going to be making in this video you only need one of each because there's not a whole lot needed now it, it might help you to have some more saplings but again the ones that you got with your default island are plenty next we got to talk about your pickaxe so i know a lot of you are like dv i really really need a gilded steel pickaxe so here's the gilded okay and then i'm going to make a iron pickaxe real quick okay so now i have an iron right well, let me show you something here we're going to build a block here there's three blocks and then three blocks right so there's three and three right I'm going to use the gilded steel pickaxe real quick. I'm just going to go pink, 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 right? And then I'm going to use the iron one. Pink, pink, pink. Any difference? No. Because you're like, well, DB, that's because they're one hit. Okay, let's do stone. All right. I'm going to use the gilded. One, two, one, two, one, two. Now I'm going to use the iron. One, two, one, two, one, two. Any difference? Slight difference, right? Let's do one hit with each. This one, that's how far it got down, right? This one, a little bit more than half. Not a difference, not a difference. I mean, there is from a total damage, but it's stone that we just broke stone so easily. And stone is one of the tougher blocks in this game. You don't need a gilded steel pickaxe. Let me, let me repeat. You don't need a gilded steel pickaxe. You don't need this. I mean, I'll give them out. In fact, I'm going to be destroying a bunch pretty soon because we, we I have way too many. And obviously these had to have been duped and we're going to pretty much destroy those. I'll be doing a separate video on that. So keep an eye out for that video. We're going to be doing an economy balance video pretty soon. So coming back over here, you just need an iron. So irons are cheap. Look at, look how much they cost to make an iron pickaxe now look at the cost of this one this is insanely overpriced for what you get out of it i actually played the game early early days when the guild of steel pickaxe first came out i actually didn't even bother the only reason why i got guild of steel pickaxes is because i could afford it eventually i had millions and millions and millions of coins and i was buying them for 1.2 million each that's when they were not worth 120 to 200 thousand i mean that's how much they're worth now it's like 200 thousand because of all the dupers all you need is that 20 iron and 10 wood for that now if you're really stubborn you're like db i don't I, I get what you're saying here but i really want one of these because they're just cool well okay you're gonna need 125 steel ingots to make five steel rods you're gonna need 200 gold bars and 40 irons now it's way cheaper just to go and find one on a published island but if you if you really want to make one you can do so now one thing i will say where the gilded does have an advantage over the iron is with farming gold ore and iron ore the anvil i don't actually require until later because you can actually go and borrow someone else's anvil anytime um granted anvils are really cheap to make you if you want to see what they cost anvil is only 50 iron so that's not much right so you can make that earlier or later it depends on what's important to you next you're going to need at least buy one iron totem and you're going to need three coal totems these you don't need them until you actually have the equipment that needs them so the iron totem is going to go on your smelter obviously the more the better but you need at least one i'm going to say you need at least one to operate a smelter obviously if you can afford more get up to like five or six you're going to need you're going to need them eventually anyway but we're not going to say that you require them quite yet and then 
cold totems, you're going to need at least three of these because you're going to need one for your smelter. You're going to need one for your steel mill, and then you're going to need one for your drill. So we're going to cover that in a bit, but you need one of these, three of these. So this should actually look like this. That's that's more like it. You're going to need three of those. Next, we already talked about the iron pickaxe. You're going to need that. You're going to need a weapon. And the reason why you're going to need a weapon is you're going to need to kill a lot of slimes to get all the different colors of sticky gears. So you're going to need five green sticky gears. You're going to need three pink, and then you're going to also need four blues. That's why we have this weapon is the ability to kill slimes very quickly. Now, of course, if you can get a title, even better. The reason why I don't have a title here instead of the hammer is because, again, the hammer doesn't require any blueprints. If you're going to be self-reliant and you don't want to do any kind of trading whatsoever, you would actually need to get the title blueprint and you, you would have to grind a bunch of, you know, spell pages. And I just wanted to prevent you from having to go through that pain. Again, you know, you can go and grind buffer core using a wooden sword all day long if you had to. So again, this is actually way easier to get than the title. Now title, you're going to be able to kill a lot more slimes very quickly, but I find this is actually really, really good damage. So you're going to be fine with this. Plus you're going to need these anyway. You're going to need a hammer anyway. Hammers are amazing. So the hammer requires one buffer core crystal, 140 gold and 125 steel ingots in order to be able to make those five steel rods. So you're going to need quite a bit to make a hammer. And there's alternatives to this, but you're going to need a good weapon. Now the crafting requirements for every single item in this list is going to be listed in the description of this video. So if you're thinking like DB, what was that again? You don't have to, you know, rewind the video and watch that part again. You could actually just scroll down to the description and see exactly what you need to make and what exactly you're going to require to make it. So let's go over here. And next up, we're going to need some steel mills because in order to be able to make a lot of stuff, like everything's essential, like steel rods are super essential, right? They're super essential. So you're going to need to be able to make a lot of steel ingots. Well, this is a way to do it, right? So if you're going to want to make a bunch of steel ingots, you'll need to feed this thing a lot of iron ingots. And in order to be able to make a smelter, you need a lot of steel. So that's why I have steel mills as being next because you could actually come over here. You can smelt a bunch of iron, right? So you're going to need to do it this way. And in order to be able to make a steel mill, you only need a hundred iron. So you only need a hundred iron and 50 gold bars. So that's super cheap. Steel mills are super cheap. Only a hundred iron ingots and 50 gold bars. And that is super easy for you to grind. 50 gold ore is so easy to get. Like you get like three to four for every single like gold ore mound you find. And gold's just so much easier to get these days that you're not going to really have any issues making your steel mill. Anyone can make a steel mill very quickly. The challenge with steel mills is trying to make the conveyors that go with it, right? That's where things started getting expensive. So we'll cover that in a little bit, but for now it does take hundred iron ingots and 50 gold bars. Next up, we got smelters. So you are going to need a smelter after your steel mill and because the smelter is just going to make everything easier because once you start getting over here with the drill and you start getting into other things, you know, including just making these, it's just going to speed up the entire process of everything because trying to do everything through small furnaces is going to break you. It just takes so much time. And so you're going to want to make an industrial smelter. Industrial smelter does require eight steel rods. So essentially what that means is 200 of these steel ingots, right? So you're going to need 200 of these and you're going to need three pink sticky gears. So you're going to need three of these to be able to make this guy. This guy is going to actually help you because you can connect this to this, right? So you can actually feed iron straight into this and make steel very easily. And the nice thing is if you only have one smelter, say you can only afford to make one smelter, which is the bare minimum you're going to need, right? You need at least one smelter. You could always disconnect it from your steel mill. Once you have enough steel and you're like, I don't really need steel anymore. You can hook it up to your bronze drill or your gold drill and just smelt that, right? So like you can see here, I've got mine going up top. So I got a copper right there and it smelts. So there's like a, there's a smelter right there. Can't see it, but there's a smelter right there. So there's two drills. There's a gold drill. And then I got a copper drill right here. And both of them feed into the smelter and the smelter just drops down here into my refinery, right? I got a red bronze refinery down here and it makes these, it makes red bronze ingots. So they're making red bronze ingots right there. But what if I didn't care about bronze? Then I could just hook up an industrial chest down here and AFK farm it all day. I just put an auto clicker on it and I'll be farming gold bars and copper all day long. So you do need a smelter. You need at least one. And again, you could feed both of those into a smelter if you wanted to, or if you only had one drill, then you just pick which resource is the most important to you and then hook up the smelter to that. Next up, you need a drill. So again, we, we already covered that and why you need a drill, but look, it's just free gold, right? It's free gold. So copper is a lot less useful to you at this stage, unless you're going to do bronze. Copper's not at all on this list. 
Copper is great for factories. So like if you're gonna make a copper press and some other, you know, like copper parts for, you know, future for future updates, like the, the copper just is useless right now. Other than making a rage blade, I would say focus everything on gold. Focus all of it on gold. That way you can make a ton of coins off of selling gold if you needed to. You know, you can make your gilded, you can do you can make this, you can make all kinds of stuff with gold. Keep that gold if you can. Next up, we do need some conveyors. So without conveyors, it's gonna be kind of pointless because you can't really do a whole lot. Um, you will need conveyors before you hook up the smelter. So I, you know, I probably should have mentioned that you're gonna need that in order to be able to make your smelter because otherwise you're just gonna be sitting here, you know, manually feeding it all day, which is fine if you really wanna manually feed this thing but I don't think you're gonna to wanna to do that. So you're gonna need some conveyors. So in order to be able to make that, you're gonna need one steel rod, which you're gonna make from your anvil. And this requires 25 steel ingots, right? 25. And then you're gonna also need five iron ingots. So that's pretty cheap. The five iron's really cheap to make. So you only need that in order to be able to make this uh, conveyor. And then of course you're gonna need some of these, right? You're gonna need at least industrial chests or in an output chest. So I did list them in the top 15 here. So industrial chests you're gonna need in order to be able to capture all your resources that you farm. So you're gonna need at least one at first, but eventually you're gonna want a lot more of these. You can see it does require a medium chest and it requires a conveyor belt and some iron. So, you know, you do have a total of 65 iron required for an industrial chest, which isn't too bad. And then you do have some wood in order to be able to make your medium chest. And then you have 25 steel ingots in order to be able to make a conveyor belt because you do need that extra steel rod. So I know this might actually be a little confusing, but again, I'm gonna give you the full list of things you're gonna need to be able to make one of each of everything in this list. So you shouldn't have any problem making these. And then of course we got an in and output chest here, which is a little bit more expensive than the industrial chest. You can see it's pretty much the same thing as an industrial chest, except 20 more iron. Plus you have one more conveyor belt required. These are the bare minimum essentials you're gonna need for your island to be able to make anything in the game. And uh, sometimes you just kind of have to move this around so if you only got one you're gonna be like okay i guess i gotta hook this up to my smelter it's really meant to just help you extend the life of your chest because you can fit so much in those compared to these and you can use them to extend like reach next up we got vending machines you are going to need a vending machine if you want to be able to sell stuff and buy stuff from players it requires five green sticky gears it requires 10 gold and one crystallized iron so you should be good on that you just need to grind a lot of slimes and then of course you're going to need an anvil later so you're not borrowing everyone else's if you can make the anvil earlier great that's you know it's going to help you a ton by making that earlier and then eventually you're going to need a tier three workbench here because initially what you should be doing is instead of you know spending all the resources on this because your tier three workbench does require 450 iron up front look at how much iron is required for this thing it's a beast it's a monster save your iron on other things that you can make now because you can make so much with that iron and then get this later because you know 20 maple wood's not too hard to get stone brick is going to be a little bit of a pain for you but you might actually need to make a stone cutter later so you might be able to borrow someone else's if they give you build permissions or something, but you only need it for that brick. So maybe you don't need to keep it. And the last thing you're going to need is a sawmill. And this is just nice to have for whenever you need it. Eventually you're going to run into a need for planks. So there's certain things in here that require planks. So like if you want to make fences, if you want to make slabs, if you want to build a house, if you want to make stairs, you know, wooden stairs, I just highly recommend a sawmill because you're going to need it eventually. So that is the top 15 things I would say you would need in the game for your island. So now that you know everything that you're going to need, I'm going to go over the cost. So I'm going to give you the total cost of everything. So let's go ahead and go through those. So you need at least one sapling here. Saplings only cost 50 coins. So you're good here. Um, you might actually have a bunch of extras for free already from your default island. If you don't, maybe you sold them, maybe you dropped them. You are going to need at least 50 coins for at least one of them. And you're going to need a thousand coins for your maple sapling. And then as far as total iron ingots, you're going to need 790 iron ingots to be able to craft everything that we covered. In, in order to be able to make the steel ingots, you do need an iron iron ingot for every steel ingot you make. So if you're actually smelting and just auto feeding it into here, it's a lot easier, right? Cause you don't really have to keep count. But if you're doing this by hand, like if you're over here, you know, doing this by hand, like, oh my gosh, I gotta make some more. Then that's, you know, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to keep count of that because you're gonna have to make them here and they're gonna have to go and deposit them over here. It's a big pain, right? So, you know, no one wants to have to do this all day. So as far as total iron ingots invested, 1,615 iron ingots to be able to make 
make everything here. And that's including both the things that required iron directly. And that also includes making your steel ingots from iron. You're going to need gold, right? So of course you're going to need some gold. You're going to need 200 gold bars. That's going to help you make your gilded steel hammer. That's going to help you make your steel mill. And that's going to also help you make your vending machine. So you need, you need 200 gold in total. And then you need three pink sticky gears. That's to help you with this. You're going to need four blue sticky gears. And that's to help you with this. And that's also to help you make your drill because your drill does require a blue sticky as well. So you can see right here, it requires one blue sticky gear. So you're going to need four of those. And that's again, to make your sawmill last. You don't need this until later. This is why this is the last item in the list. And then you are going to need at least one for your, your drill though. You're going to need one blue and blues aren't that hard to get. You can get blues pretty easily. And if you're just farming for your three pink sticky gears anyway, you're naturally going to get a bunch of greens. You're going to get a ton of greens. You're probably going to get up to like a hundred greens. You're going to get probably about 20 blues. So you're not going to have any issues if you're grinding for those items anyway. And then as far as stone brick, you're going to need 50 stone brick. Green stickies, you're going to need five of in order to be able to make your vending machine. You'll need one buff cry. So buff, buff core crystal, which you can get from killing buff core. You also need two cry iron to be able to make your vending machine. And you're also going to need a cry iron to be able to make your drill. So your drill does need one cry iron here. The best way to get those is while you're grinding for gold. You're probably going to want to go to Buffalo Core Island. And in doing so, you're going to you're going to farm gold. You're going to farm for a buff cry. Pretty much you're going to farm for everything out in Slime and Buffalo Core Islands. And I hope this video helps you narrow focus on what you need to be successful in this game because I know it's pretty intimidating when you see so many people with so many things in their islands and you just don't know where to start. There's so much, right? Like they go to this and they're like, I need everything in here. Like they don't really know that they don't need everything in here. They only need like a handful of things out of this list. You don't even need like 80% of the things in here to be able to play this game and be successful in it, have fun. So that's really the goal of this video was to really show you these are the things that are going to be helpful to you to be able to make whatever you want in the game long term. And the other thing that's going to happen is by you doing all this stuff, you're going to become rich just at a, as a product of you grinding for these things. You're going to become very, very wealthy in the game because you could just sell anything, anything you don't need. And then over time, you're going to be able to make more and more vending machines. So just a reminder, I will give you the full list of everything that you need on these items so the full ingredients list that way you know exactly what you need to grind for including like total iron and all that kind of stuff if you want to follow this template and challenge again i'm going to be doing a noob to pro video so you got a full head start on me and i doubt any of you are going to be starting from a fresh account anyway so you know hopefully you already have a drill or maybe you already have a smelter or maybe you already have something in here that's already going to give you a little bit of a boost but if this video was helpful to you i'd love to see it in the comments thanks again for watching and i'll see you next time peace